Greetings everyone, and Great here. Another age power is three replays. One on the south side as the red Hosua. We have Kali. It's one on the north side as the blue Swedes. We have Madonna. Okay, got spam clicking there. Let's switch to the other player. This other player has not sucked a deck. And nor has the Swedish player. And let's take a look to see what natives on the map. Of course, we've got the House of Fanar, a Greek settlement. We do have the Evazone, which is a Greek skirmisher with high hit points. And Boyars, a heavy cavalry from Waleka. And over here, we do have the House of Habsburg. Mountain Infantry, which is a heavy ranged uh, uh, cavalry or a light uh, ranged um, ground foot infantry which i find that sort of weird it should be either both heavy or both life why is it just one's he the weird heavy uh range heavy cavalry which hardly ever exists in this game and of course got line infantry tactical austrian musketeer that gains benefits from, from each stance as well as promotions those can claim for treasures there so it is red the bear has been put down and this uh, treasure can be collected up as well. Got a couple torps here, of course. It is sweet. Let's get a bit of wood generation as well. It is pathetically horribly bad for the wood generation, but good for the other resources. And there are some life, uh, not livestock, but huntables near these torps, so they're being collected up a little bit quicker as well. It's sometimes a good idea to go for the House of Fenar early on. You can get some good infantry units the longer you wait. So right before you're ready to attack or need to defend, you can click on the big button in order to get a wave of Sacred Band infantry. It's a Musketeer variant. Athos Monastery Wagons. Can you place on a coin? Oh, so get the Mountain Monasteries from the Ethiopians with this uh, one. And all range infantry inflicts a bit more damage. The Swedish player is now eyeing for the governor, and we do have a deck selected. I forgot to take a look at the decks. We got blueberries, villagers, wood, wood, coin, pikemen, hussars, hand combat, team house of burn net, increase heavy infantry hit points by 15%, leather cannons, Eisenberg ironworks, dominions, coin. Infinite Blackberries, the Hakpaltis, how do you pronounce that? Platoon Fire, Carolines put more damage to the range attacks, especially the Heavy Cab, Shock Infantry, Hazars, Light Gun uh, Cartridges, Love Cannons Train Faster and Upgraded to Infantry Cannons, Guns, Balkanets, Snap Lock, Increase the Range of Carolines at Hakpalt Thieves by 3 or 1, Contract Hessian Mercenaries, and Trample Tactics. <laughs> Factory, factory, and Savalaska lifeguard. Careless not resist range damage instead of siege damage or melee damage. Husua guns for villagers. Put to a code. Villagers gather from all natural resources. 15% fast and 5% from nine, not natural. Wood coin. Falani archers, raiders. Photo tactics increase the Falani archer range and siege range. Three range. And cavalry damage, raiders and Lifkin knights uh, increase damage. Uh, hand cap hit points. Palace of Emia gives you one palace wagon and 300 influence. Gearots, which are the toot your horn, as will add in four build limit. Spice trade. Kukawana, have you pronounced that? Ships a group of a number of villages, Gearots, increase the number of Gearots you can build. Large amount of influence. <laughs> Instant uh, fattened cattle, semi fattened cattle, javelin riders, Fulani archers, lifted knights, counter cavalry tactics. Javelin riders gain more hit points and inflict greater damage against the cavalry from range. Heavy cavalry from range. Fulani archer combat increases Fulani archer's damage by 50 15. Iron cannoneers. Armor cannoneers that fire heavy musket and inflict siege damage, which is like an August gun variant. 
Berber allies. Uh, how, uh, how do you pronounce that? Exchange all your all your cows and other cattle for influence. Place them with unfattened cattle. And do our cause with the knights and axe riders attack and inflict area damage, especially in trample mode. And cola nut cultivation increase uh, yield gathering all supply of fractions income as wood. <laughs> House will be going on down shortly. So that wagon does get picked up there. We've got the raiders now pulled on out from town center. Of course, got a wave of Hazars to engage them. Raiders are. I realize the weak Hazar variant, but it does replace their militia. Warcamp not in front of you. He needs eye for some sort of unit to engage these pikemen. We went for mass pikemen. It's, uh, it's not a comfort for Sue to go for their uh, raiders. And he went for a counter unit for the raiders just immediately. Let's take an explorer there. The war camp is seeing quite a damage right? If he takes that out, then he will deny additional production. We got shipment of Lani archers, which are an anti-heavy unit. An archaic archer. More Huzars being pulled on the field as well, which will be effective versus Lani archers. He meets some front lines. We now have a Jalen Rider. He could pass a bit of an influence there to get a wave of militia. At this point in time, he may need to. On front, Jalen Rider, more villagers. All the Hazars and then, not Hazars, uh, Pikemen are now down. He does cancel the Falani archers and went for the wood. I don't think he's going to have trouble gathering that wood. Got university here. Emir receiving some damage. More Hazars just being streamed on in. The mirror does go down. Villagers popped on out. They try and cut this wood. Let's get a bit of wood there. He can use the livestock. He may just want to sell when the livestock right now. He needs wood. Let's get a bit of wood there. He's now bringing in the axe riders. Raiders. If that comes up uh, roughly the same time for our dispatch raiders, that could be handy. We'll just pop out once again, try and cook these crates of wood. That was saving the villagers. Pikemen now being part of the field. He's beginning more pikemen out to engage more raiders when they pop out from the button. He may not realize it's not from the button, but that's actually from the uh, uh, shipment. He's really paying attention. He's already saw the cows pop up. I've got a number of javelin riders now advancing forward, which are a counter cavalry. Deal bonus a large amount of bonus damage to the heavy cab. The sword player has started has stabilized, but he is behind economy. He may have less villagers as well, but remember his opponent also has access to torps. We've got now another set of raiders that are on the field somewhere. Couple houses built there, very good. Enough for a shipment there. I guess going for cavalry damage or a health, one of the two. Got a number of Carolines point field. They do have a bonus damage versus a, a heavy cap at range. Not in melee, so they're a little bit unique in that aspect when it comes to musketeers. A couple axe riders do go down. Jasmine riders are classified as light. And now we have a shipment of Flani archers will be useful for that, for defense against that. Yeah. The market can now be cast 100% for wood. You may want to click on one of these buttons to get that resource going. You're going to use some wood right now. More Flani archers now being blown on the field.
Here, Flani Archers focus down the Carolines. He needs our have the Flani Archers to be the garrison. He has a couple more Flani Archers over here. All the Javelin Riders and Axe Riders need to go down. Look, there's still a single Axe uh, Javelin or two Javelin Riders there. A couple Huzzars still remain, but they're severely wounded. Flani Archers will be good for the rest of the engagement. Does need to take out those Huzzars. It's probably best the Carolines not engaged in melee against the cavalry. Huzzars are both now down. Flying Archers need to be dangerous. More Huzzars now being right on the field. Next set of Raiders won't be out in shortly. Having trouble, of course. They're not good versus cavalry. And this one time, I think that the sewer player. Oh, he's now going for some fondo tactics. This is not what he needs most. He needs more units. So let's go see if it's a fire there. Now these villagers can easily get record there. Got some Javan Riders pulling field. Hazars may want to just focus on those villagers. Hazars getting some great damage there on these uh, Javan Riders. Now these villagers being pursued. So the wave of raiders to fly field, engaging those uh, Carolines in the melee is actually going to be really good. Now do you have a leather cannon pulling the field? Leather cannons, of course, good for his infantry, not good for his cavalry. So, they actually do regular damage versus light cavalry. They only do less damage versus heavy cav and hand shot, not versus uh, light cav. here for defense. We do have another war camp. Two leather cans not pulled on the field. Riders do get a good volley there. And he runs things starting to go on down. That is his primary source of influence at the moment. Or really only source of influence. Now with the university down, his influence rate will greatly decrease. Four barracks not being pulled and out. Do see some more crossbows now going for blueberries. His torps, let's see. Torps now saw on blueberry bushes instead of regular berry bushes. Your, blue, your berry bushes on present on the map also becomes blueberry bushes. But it doesn't look like it applies to any berry bushes that have already been consumed. Though these ones have not been consumed just yet. Nor are these ones. This one's about to get consumed. Oh, we got three. Two. And there we go. Blueberries.
My other cannons can good damage there on this one. We have now a handful of crosses the void field. We can't use the bone savers to light uh, range cavalry, such as the javelin riders. Or Caroline's now being pulled on a field, which will be useful. Both players in H2. Hosua is not going to bring in his Pakui code, which does give him. Most times, I think players usually go for that early on, without that early on. His economy will spike up forward. Got now Gentleman Rise pushed way forward. So he's at 18 villagers. His opponent is at 30, so the economy is definitely much better for the. for the Swedes. So it's right now not going for any more villagers. And it's a good damage trick. Got some Carolyn's not firing away. Got Ryan's trying to pick up these bazaars. Lonnie Arch is trying to be overran by the Carolyn. So Genshi engaged in melee. Of course, got the leather cans firing away. Making up the Lonnie Arch is a one shot each. They do uh, 40 damage times 3 for infantry. So do 120. Any damage and the archers only have 120 health. And that is the end of the replay. This end grade scene. Thank you for watching and on to the next replay.